Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. We have a great question and I think a very important one today. So I'm just going to crack right into it. Here it is. How can a young man with little life experience develop a stronger frame? And he says, not just related to women, but in all aspects of life. All right, this is a great question. Um, and I think this applies to greater or lesser degree actually to everybody because everybody is young compared to somebody and everybody is old compared to somebody. So if you're 18, maybe you consider yourself a young man, you're not wise, you're not experienced, you're not the fully formed, completed article. That said, if you're 35, maybe you consider yourself young and inexperienced and you're not the fully formed, completed article. The fact of the matter is, whatever point you're at in life, you have had a specific direct life experience. And that should be, at whatever stage you're at, your absolute highest authority. You should trust your experience. You should trust your perception of reality more than you trust anybody, including me, okay? If I tell you a piece of advice, and that piece of advice flies directly in the face of every piece of, advice, or every piece of um, experience you've had in your entire life, discard the advice. Your reality, the truth of the world, is the ultimate authority, whatever your age, all right? And that's your sense of certainty. Also, I do want to make a point that having a strong frame just for the sake of having a strong frame is not always correct. One of the benefits of being young is that you have some flexibility in your frame. You're still learning. You're not hardened in your ways. And by the way, if you're older, don't be too hardened in your ways. So you want to have a strong frame. You want to believe what you believe until and unless it's proven wrong, at which point you want to pivot and believe what's right. If you sort of stubbornly cling to your beliefs even when they're wrong, that's not doing you any service either, okay? But specifically for young people or people that are considered societally young, you know, let's say someone that's in their college years or someone in their late high school years or who's just become a grown-up, just become an adult, that's the key word, this word grown-up, okay? Fact of the matter is you need to consider yourself that. You need to get rid of this idea that there's a world where these, these like, all-knowing grown-ups out there who have all the answers and they're bestowing their wisdom down upon you. Because what's going to happen, you're going to reach a certain age and you're going to realize, oh shit, this is the age where I'm supposed to be a grown-up. And I'm looking at all my friends who are that age and I'm as smarter, smarter than them and we're all fucking lost and confused. And then it's going to dawn on you that throughout all your life when your parents and your teachers were the authority figures, they were just as lost and confused as you are in that moment right now. So the fact of the matter is, you know what you know, right? You have your life experience, and that is the only authority you can use. You can't use anybody else's life experience as your basis. Now, you can read and get ideas and incorporate that and compare it to your life experience and take what's useful to you. You can go find mentors, and you can compare that to your life experience and find what's useful to you. But at the end of the day, you have to determine for yourself what is reality. Anything else leads to insanity, right? It's the only way you can live without going insane. And at whatever age you are, that's what you need to believe to be the case. I want to throw in one more point, And this is kind of interesting because this happens basically every single time that I have a boot camp where I have an older student and a younger student. Basically every single time the older student says to the younger student, wow, man, you are so lucky. I wish I had discovered game at your age. And the fact of the matter is he's right. Right? You have, just by virtue of being young, more potential value in some ways than almost any conceivable older person. Right? You have every possible life outcome that you could create for yourself over the next 20 or 30 years that puts you above a 40 or 50 year old if you're currently 20, for example. All right? So your potential upside is higher just by being young. Right? A newborn baby has more potential in him than almost any conceivable 18-year-old or 20-year-old or 30-year-old or 40-year-old. Right? Your potential is absolutely enormous. But it's up to you what you're going to do with it. And if you are going to make the most of it, if you are a guy who's smart enough, dedicated enough to be learning game and improving himself at your current age, your upside is absolutely tremendous. And you need to know, not think, but know that you are moving in that direction. Know that you are moving towards being that future you that you want to be and know that your time right now and your relationship status right now and being with you right now is worth just as much as being with that person in the long run in, that you could eventually later become is, right? I call this concept borrow abundance from your future. Look at that future self you're becoming. You are 
that you are the seed, you are the egg that's going to grow up to be that animal. You are the seed that's going to grow up to be that tree. All right, borrow abundance from your future because that is your potentiality and you are making that potential each and every day. Now, the beautiful thing about that is number one, it gives you that confidence. It gives you something to look to and say, I'm allowed to be that valuable. The other thing is hopefully it motivates you to actually grow into that person. Because borrowing some abundance from your future saying, I'm going to be great one day, and then sitting on your couch and eating Cheetos, there's a disconnect there. That's bullshit. But if you say, I'm going to be great one day, and you wake up at 5 a.m., not that you have to, I'm, I'm actually a night owl anyway, but you wake up at 5 a.m. every day, and you start working on that consistently, diligently, putting in the time, putting in the hard work, putting in the effort, and putting in smart work, well, then it's actually true. Then you actually are living up to that thing, and you can very congruently and believably, both to the world and to yourself, borrow abundance from your future. But the fact of the matter is this, if you're getting into this young, you are extremely, extremely lucky. Be glad that you are. By the way, if you're getting this older, be very glad that you're getting into it now, not five years from now, 10 years from now, or 15 years from now, and start taking action now, because the younger, the earlier you start, whenever you found out about this, the more you take action, the earlier you take action, the better off you're going to be. So I hope that answers the question well. If you have any questions you'd like asked, post them in the comment. That is where I get a lot of the questions from the channel. Also, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments below in general. Okay, take care. See you on the next video.